Welcome to StockX TV. I'm your host, Josh Luber. Here with our second guest co-host at StockX TV, Verbal. Most of you guys on this side of the world know him from Teriyaki Boys, but that is, well, just a fraction of, of what he's been doing these days. Welcome, happy to have you here. Good to be here. Thank you for the Detroit tour earlier. It was awesome being here. You want to give everyone a little bit of update, what you've been doing since Teriyaki Boys? Sure. Uh, once again, my name is Verbal. I'm a music producer and designer from Tokyo. You want that, she want that, they want that, who want that? Come get a little bit of this and a little bit of that if you want a bit of this, that I, I, I. Lately, I've been working on PKCs, my new group, and also with Honest Boys, uh, an evolution of Teriyaki Boys, which I work on with Nigo. Um, this is our new project, looking to make an album. Does that mean that we're all gonna get to see you rap again? Uh, yeah, they'll, people will get to see me rap again. <laughs> still rapping, um, still my, doing my thing on the mic. So um, that's exciting. And in terms of fashion, um, I'm working on uh, new projects with my brand Ambush, uh, with my wife Yoon, uh, who you probably met recently at ComplexCon. Yoon's panel at ComplexCon was really one of the most interesting as she was sitting there talking about Japanese street culture and how it impacts U.S. sneakers, streetwear, and fashion. Which really couldn't be a, a better segue into today's Market Watch, where we're going to look at Pharrell's human race and how they've been doing on the market. So let's get right into the numbers. In today's Market Watch, we're going to take a deep dive into the Adidas Pharrell human race NMD. For the past year and a half, most people know this has been one of the biggest shoes on the secondary market, but Pharrell's influence on fashion and sneaker culture certainly didn't happen in the last year and a half, and having Verbal here today is, is a pretty phenomenal opportunity to talk about really the history of that and Pharrell and everything else. But you've seen Pharrell do this for over a decade now at this point. Yeah, I think a lot of the influences from Tokyo and him frequenting um, all these places um, you know, definitely has impact on the design. Actually, I, before we get too far into the designs, I think it's worth noting that you know, we kind of take it for granted that he goes there and brings back the design, but he was actually sitting there making music with you and Nigo and Teriyaki Boys and, and everyone else, right? That was definitely good times um, and a game changer because there wasn't any artist who was, you know, working with um, Western producers back in the day. So, yeah, we made songs with uh, Pharrell. Um, some of you guys know may know uh, Tokyo Drift from Fast and Furious soundtrack. Uh, work with Kanye on a couple tracks, work with uh, Daft Punk. Man, we had like a stellar, you know, roster of artists and producers and yeah, it was really exciting. And so, uh, you know, the shoes that we're looking at here, we got a lot of the NMDs, but I actually want to start with the most recent pair that came out. Mm. This one right here is actually a collaboration with BBC, super limited, uh, actually selling for about twelve to fifteen hundred dollars on wow. StockX right now. So, but you know, BBC has been around forever. Yeah, of course. That one just came out, right. um, and the most recent, but I think you might have one of the first ones, right? Well, one of the special ones I have is the Burgundy Friends and Family one, so which uh, Pharrell sent, which was awesome. Um, it was really um, meaningful and you know special. I mean, that was the first true Friends and Family one that came out there. That one sold for as much as $15,000. You know that, right? <laughs> no, I didn't. That's crazy. That's insane. I wonder what else Pharrell sent him and sitting in his closet that's, that's worth $20,000. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I mean, that just came out of nowhere. And it was like, it was like a, you know, very, uh, it was a nice gift. I believe um, there's something in the package back home. Um, so I'm excited to go back and check that out. Well, sitting in the package back home is probably one of the most recent NMDs that came out. So there, there's four colorways mm. that just dropped actually on November 11th, which I think was Singles Day. Right. What I don't think you can get on Alibaba, but you could have gotten on StockX, mm. are the Pharrell NMDs. And mm. so the four new ones, which my guess is the package you have waiting for home, probably has one mm. of the four new. We're all selling for about $550 um, now on StockX, with pairs ranging really from $450 to $650, depending on the size. But I think what's more interesting is to see how the first pack has done, right? So after the uh, Burgundy Friends and Family, um, there was a yellow pair that released, and then there was a, a pack of five, and there was a, a blue, a black, a uh, red, green, and uh, tangerine. And those five, and we have a few of them here, for a while we're selling for six to seven hundred dollars, but now they're almost all over twelve hundred dollars. Wow. So, you know, I, I don't know which ones are sitting there waiting for you, but what's been really clear on all this 
is that all the Pharrell NMDs just continue to go up in value. Yeah, it's crazy. So I, I know that you weren't at ComplexCon, but um, your wife, Yoon, yeah. was. Um, did she happen to pick you up a pair of these, uh, of the NERD uh, <laughs> no, NMDs? No, unfortunately not. But um, we had the pleasure of uh, doing a collab with for the NR NERD project. Uh, we did a sweater with my brand, uh, Ambush. So that was at the uh, Union booth, and that was exciting. Yeah, it was exciting, except for all of us that couldn't get it, because <laughs> there was like five of them. There were, I don't know how many were there, but like, when are you gonna start releasing that stuff in the States? Uh, like hopefully soon, man. I mean, that was um, that was like a last minute thing. And then, you know, you know, we, we made it happen. Well, but, but back to the shoe, right? So this is the, the NERD NMD that released at ComplexCon. Right. And um, this one's selling right now on StockX for about $5,500. So, wow. So, so really, you should have had you pick you up a pair yeah. of these before she left, so. I know, these are super dope. Yeah, yeah, they are. As we look back over the past year and a half, you have Pharrell NMDs that have gone for really, today, as low as about $550 for some of the new ones, to some of the rare ones like the BBC and the NERD, which sell for thousands and thousands of dollars. So uh, I certainly don't expect this series to, to stop and him to keep doing this. And as he does more collabs, like with BBC and NERD, NERD Maybe we'll actually see uh, an ambush NMD coming soon. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, that'll be great. All right, well, that one, yeah. you make sure I get one of the friends and family pairs <laughs> yeah. of that one. Yeah, I promise. All right. <laughs> the NERD NMDs were only available at ComplexCon, and although I wasn't lucky enough to get a pair, we were at ComplexCon and had something pretty cool to show. So that wraps up Market Watch for today. Let's look at StockX at ComplexCon. Shortly after we started StockX, we wanted to create a custom pair of sneakers to sit on Dan Gilbert's desk. And so we took a pair of the Air Zoom Generation, or LeBron 1, and we had it customized by two people. El Capi, who's based in Detroit, did this pair to look like a map of Detroit that he painted with logos of the companies within the family of companies here. The other pair was done by Jake Ferrato or JBF Customs, who's based in Cleveland, and took Cavs jerseys and NBA basketballs and built this shoe from scratch. Mm. You ever seen anything like this? Yeah, this is beautiful. I love how the um, original logos are everywhere. You could tell this is a basketball. This is made really well. Yeah, I, I mean, really phenomenal. And we had the same reaction after we saw it. So we actually asked Jake to do 10 more pairs. He actually did 10 Air Jordan 1s made out of Chicago Bulls jerseys and NBA basketballs. And then we said, well, what are we gonna do with them? So let's take a look at today's feature of what we did with those 10 custom Jordan 1s and how they came out. ComplexCon is a menagerie of the world's largest brands selling rare, exclusive product. We brought 10 unique, one-of-a-kind sneakers to give away to people at ComplexCon. Let's take a look at how those shoes were made, what happened at ComplexCon, and the winners. I'm Jacob with JBF Customs. We're gonna go look at some shoes that I've been working on for StockX. We're working on 10 pairs of Jordan 1s. They're all gonna be one of one, made of different colorways of Bulls jerseys and old NBA game balls. To give you like the super quick like spark notes overview of the process I go through, as soon as I got the jerseys and shoes from StockX, I took the shoes apart and uh, you know, cut the pieces out of the balls and the jerseys, sewed them all back together, last the uppers, glue the soles on, and then you're pretty much done. I don't really know why I like sneakers so much. I just kind of always have. I got a job at Nike when I was 16, so I had access to base shoes for really cheap, and that's how I started painting them. From painting, it just kind of slowly, naturally evolved into actual shoemaking over the years. You know, it's one of those things as an artist, I feel like you really have to wear your own work and support it 100%, or you can't expect anybody else to be on board with it. My favorite part of the process is definitely is finishing the shoe just because it's so satisfying to see something that, you know, you took a bunch of flat materials and you made something dimensional that you can actually wear. And then, you know, it's like you're finally done. You just did all these small, tedious, like torturous little tasks for like 40 hours and now you have a finished product and it was all worth it. And the finished product was absolutely worth it. Thanks, Jake. You're definitely our favorite cord waner. So this is what ComplexCon looked like. It's actually a giant glamorous flea market. We rolled deep, we brought 15 family members to the show. We had the pleasure of meeting all sorts of StockX friends, family, and partners, but what took center stage was the 10 pairs of Jordans. So the way the contest worked was simple. Post a picture from the StockX booth and win a pair of the JBF Customs Air Jordan 1. And the five winners are Katie Morton, Anthony Jordan, Balin Latona, 
Joseph Quinlan, and Michael Baker. That wraps up ComplexCon and the contest to win a pair of the JBF Custom Jordan 1s. It's certainly going to be a hard one to beat for next time, but we have a full year to work with Jake on something awesome. Most importantly though, thank you. I mean, thank you for being here, for sitting and talking to us about not only what you're doing with Yoon and Ambush, but ComplexCon and Pharrell and Nego and all the stories. And I think a lot of us probably wish we had a full hour to sit here and talk about and hear all the stories there, but, but thanks, man. Man, thanks, it's been a pleasure. Um, I had an awesome experience this morning uh, with the tour of Detroit. That wraps up StockX TV. Stay tuned next time and you'll see maybe how we select our interns, what some of our intern class looks like, and do you like Bob's Burgers? Does any of that make sense? I don't know, you'll have to stay tuned next time to find out, thanks. Page から降りたらハイレアです。あなたが夏場は超スケールです。本当にホットライクならがつ。ちゃめくらいせ、もう釘付け。そして君もやっぱ俺を見つめ。ネット思ってたけど。<笑><笑>